Jason, I love a bit of fantastic plastic. It is, and uh, this is a uh, quite a remarkable piece of plastic, the uh, new Eon 615 from JBL. Now, Jimmy, the first thing that jumped out about me about this box was how little it weighs when we lifted it onto the table. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very light. It, it's incredibly light. Um, I'm, I'm really blown away by how light this box actually is uh, and uh, how it sounds. A little bit different from the Eon of the past. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. Um, it it looks better than the Eon of the yeah, past. Actually, too. I'll, I'll give it that too. And it's look, cosmetically I mean, I'm, greatly improved. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try and take too much away from 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 its forefathers mm. uh, or forebearers or whatever the term is. Um, you know, because we all we all have a journey, and I think this is the latest step in in the journey of the Eon. Mm. Um, the other thing is that you know it's it's got a little bit more intelligence than it used to as well. Yeah. So um, there's four EQ presets on the back now. Yeah, yeah we got a main monitor, sub, and speech EQs, and they mm. all do various things. I think like for mm. me, they're they're mostly pretty pretty samey. Mm. Mm. Let's be honest. The sub one's got a fairly aggressive roll off in it. Mm -hmm. If you don't like any of those, there's an app on the way that's going to let you hook into this via Bluetooth oh, okay. from your iPad or whatever. And uh, then you can manually adjust the EQ from in front of the speaker where you can actually hear it. Mm. That's a good, now, good idea. I like that. I, I like that a lot too. Now, aggressive limiting to my ear, but. I think in this kind of area, that's possibly a good thing. Yeah, look, I think the market that this is pitched into is probably a little bit more sort of MI than, mm. than previous generations of Aeon. Mm. Um, and certainly the way it's set up to, to self-protect, it's uh, fairly indicative of that to yeah. me. Um, it certainly, it, it seems to run out of go in the low end mm. well before the horn. Yeah, I, I don't think anybody's going to be able to break this thing terribly easily. Um, Not from what we put into it. Well, I don't know. I think if you chuck it down a set of stairs hard <laughs> enough, maybe. But And, and you know, here's the thing. There's so many handles yeah. all over this thing that yeah. That would actually be really easy. Don't mm. chuck it down stairs. Don't, don't That's do that. not yep. valid warranty. Mm. Um, yeah, you know, I like that it's got little rubber feet on both edges mm. so you can lie it down in either direction as a mm. monitor and it doesn't foul with the connectors on the back. Mm. I mean, this is all little stuff, right? But this is stuff that I've seen other manufacturers mm. get wrong in the past. Mm. You know, there was there mm. was a little 12 and horn box years ago that was great uh, as a monitor, except that you had to squash the XLR connectors yep. to actually lie it down. Mm. You know what I'm talking I about? Do. But you know, so that I think what they've done here is they've 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 done the next logical mm. evolution in the Aeon, and I think they've put it in the hands of a few more people mm -hmm. who are probably going to be very happy with it. Yep, I'd agree.